I love this next song. My wife says it's singing. I love it. Oh, I've got song too. I've got song too.
that and sound like a cow's moving. <laughs> Put that down on the floor, man. <laughs> Two, Brother Fred. Try talking so I can see which one it is. Talking to microphone for Oh. Uh, track two, Brother Fred, then we'll go from there. All right. See what God says. I'll just pray for me. It's supposed to say one good, but. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. I mean, wow, it looks like I'm seeing some new faces or something here. I mean, this one's just new. <laughs> Which one, which CD, bro? Right there and look to that there. <laughs> which CD? Ah. Conway. Ah. Ain't that blues. <laughs> 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 I would be like kind of like Conway, though. Yeah. He was a good gospel singer, though, Conway was. Hank Williams, he's a good a country singer. A lot of people feel some down because we don't know they made it right. We don't know. Amen. I wonder 
stones, dear God, I can't do it by myself. I really won't sing that song right there because that's not in the Bible. Give it to the Lord, no trouble. Can you hear my answer? Tis a sad but true story. Go on back a little further, Fred. Hello, uh, Fred. He wants me to know His spirit all divine Fills this sinful soul of mine When God gives His love in my heart I say that I won't take to any soul I brought salvation and He saved my soul And the good times that's love is Jesus makes you cry listening. The grown-ups should even be listening harder.
precious memories of my childhood in the woods around the summer time. My mother used to call the next steps of the old home place. Children gathered around the table for the Lord Himself for the greatest supper time of them all. so good, treats us a whole lot better than what we deserve. Amen. How many knows that tonight? Amen. You know, when God blesses us, we need to be thankful, you know. Hallelujah. We, we've not earned that. We've not earned the blessings of God. Let me tell you, He blesses us because He loves us tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, glory to God. Uh, I'm a strong believer, you know, Good works and uh, all that. Amen. But let me tell you something. Amen. Somewhere down the line, uh, we got the uh, the old saying goes, the cart before the horse. Amen. I believe, glory to God, that the good works come, uh, glory to God, because we're a child of God. Amen. The good works ain't to make us a child of God. Come on now. The good works ain't to make us accepted unto God. But they come because we are a child of God. Amen. How many knows that tonight? Hallelujah. See, when we were born again, 
when we called out on his holy name and we believed on that finished work of Calvary, amen, he imputed upon us his righteousness, amen. How many knows that, amen? So, Lord God, he freely gave it to us. He paid the price, huh? Yeah. Amen. But because he imputed his righteousness, listen now, we got a relationship with him. Huh? Come on now. Amen. So like I said, I'll preach against sin and I'll preach hard against sin because sin will separate you from God. It will. It will. It definitely will. But let me tell you something, folks. Let's be careful, very careful, and not drop into a religious spirit and forget about the grace of God. Amen. Come on now. If we get into the works department so much, we forget how we were born again. If we get into works department so much, come on now, we start thinking that we've done this thing ourselves. Huh? Well, preacher, you, I'm not against it. Where every born again believer, the work should be following them. Amen. It should be. If you're saved, there should be good works following you. You should be bearing the, the fruit of the Spirit. Come on. Amen. Uh -huh. But why don't we just... Hmm. How many knows that the Sabbath uh, is a day of rest? I'm going to say something right here, and I believe. And you can search out the Word of God. I know there's some in here who knows the Word of God. You know, from Genesis to Revelation. But Lord God, I believe that Sabbath, it was symbolic, brothers and sisters. I believe it was symbolic to the day of rest that was to come when Christ came. Yes. What are you saying? The rest from us trying to make our own self righteous. The rest from the works of the law. Amen? Come on now. We can enter into that. You can enjoy your salvation, not be a miserable Christian. Yeah. Right. Huh? Amen. Come on now. God will convict you. He'll convict you of sin. God will lead you. He will guide you. He will show you things you need to get out of your life. He'll show you what you need to just totally remove. Come on. Listen to the Lord. Amen. Amen. But I don't know, Lord. The only reason I'm able to do it is because of your grace. The only reason I'm able to live right is because of you, Jesus. The only reason I'm able to resist that old devil, come on, is because you've given me the strength to, to resist him. Come on. We cannot take credit. When it comes to salvation, we cannot take credit for any of it. How many knows that? We cannot take credit for any of it. A religious spirit will choke the life out of you. And I know, because I've been there, and I've had it. Mm. Can anybody else say, I've had that religious spirit? Huh? I've had that self righteous spirit. I've had that holier than thou spirit. Huh? But the more I walk with him, the more we seek him, the more we see in his word, the more that he reveal that this thing is about Jesus Christ and him crucified. <laughs> Won't be so bitter at one another. Huh? And can I tell you something, folks? Like I said, I believe in preaching against sin. I believe standing against sin. But there are going to be people that watch through them doors. And there are going to be people that watch through Sweetwater's doors. They ain't going to have it all together in their life. Yeah. But they're searching. Amen. They're looking. And if we show them the love of Christ, doesn't mean you have to agree with the sin that they're in. Doesn't mean that you have to agree with what they're doing, but if we will show them the love of Christ, yes. 
and bring them the word of God with love. Bring them the word of God with mercy. God can work on them. God can do a work on the inside. And He can change them. How many knows that tonight? How I, I, I seen some come in. How we, they have this and that in their life, but as they went along, God was cutting that out. Amen. But if we shut them out the door, huh? Well, I, I used to know them. Come on now. I used to know them. Yeah. I, I I I tell you what, they they were some of the biggest crackheads around. Pastors has heard it all. Let me tell you something. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. New people come in and there'll be certain ones. Well, you better watch them. I'm serious. It's the truth. I've heard it all. Yeah. I want to watch them. I want to watch God move in. I want to watch God get a hold of them. I want to watch God change them. I want to watch God break them chains of the bondage on them. Huh? But they were smoking dope two days ago. But that was two days ago. This is now. Come on now. God can still do a work. Huh? Have we got so perfect? How have we got so perfect that we're not capable of slipping and falling? Come on. Huh? I don't care how long we've been preaching. I don't care how long we've been living for the Lord. If we don't watch ourselves, we can slip. If we don't watch ourselves. We'll be right back out, Brother Bobby, in the things that we were in before we came to the Lord. If we don't watch ourselves and trust in the Lord. See, I believe in dying out to self. And I know it's dying out to the works of the flesh, the desires of the flesh. But God showed me something also about dying out to self and taking up your cross and following Him daily. That's believing, Lord. You took care of everything for me at Calvary. Now I can walk in it because of you. I can walk in victory over sin because of you. I can walk over these things that the enemy's trying to do to me because of you. Amen. Huh? I believe the blood of Jesus is more powerful than any devil in hell. I believe the blood of Jesus is more powerful than any alcohol, any drug, any immoral sin that there is out there. The blood of Jesus is more powerful than it. Right. So what are we going to do, Brother Bobby? Are we going to love them? Huh? Or are we going to get so... spiritually. Come on. Come on. Huh? Is that not it? Yeah. See, I've been around for a while. I've been in churches. I've been in different places. I've been I, I've been the oddball walk in. All of them in the nice the, the pearls. I mean, they got it down to the T. I mean, they got it down to the T. The nice shirts, nice suits. And they look down on old preacher come in. Old ragged shirt, blue jeans, and tennis shoes. Well, you don't need to be preaching. You ain't got the outer of a pearl. Let me tell you something. How the outside ain't going to anoint you. How it's what's on the inside. It's what's on the inside. How you can go cut your old tater sack. Come on now, put a hole in it and slide it over you. Glory to God, and preach this as good as if you was in a $5,000 suit. Come on now. Come on now. Let's get out our self righteous spirit. Let's come down to earth and know, glory to God, that we are to love one another. Yes, stand against sin. Preach against sin. Pray against that junk. Come on now. But treat people with love. Treat people with kindness. Treat them with mercy. Come on. Come on. Preach, preach. What did Jesus do? Brother, he'd sit down and eat with him. The religious bunch went wild. Why well, he said to eat with sinners and publicans. Yeah. Uh, they went wild. That's the way the church world is today. Yeah. You out there talking to somebody. Why well, them people's on crank. Why well, them people's drunks. Them people's this and that. Yeah, they're the ones that need Jesus. Come on now. They're the ones that need him. Come on now. Yeah. He come to seek and to save that which was lost. Yeah. And he also said those that which are whole need not a physician. 
but those that are sick. He's the great physician. Come on now. Let me get a few scriptures. I, I, I'm going to get out of the way here in a little bit. Well, let me tell you something. I want to go to church and learn of the Lord. I want to go to church and have Him to set me free. I don't want to go to church and walk out condemned. You can tell me about all my sins, but if you don't tell me who to go to, then you ain't helping me. If you don't tell me that Jesus can take them sins, then you ain't helping me. You're hanging weights on me that I can't do nothing with. You're just hanging them on me and on me, weighing me down. Hallelujah. I've been to church before, go in and be feeling good and leave, beat down, felt like I've been in a fight. Uh, felt like I'd been smacked around uh, and I had been spiritual it was a spiritual fight come on now how is some of them religious spirits uh, Lord God they'll tear you to pieces uh, come on now and then you got to pray that stuff off of you you got to get it off of you come on now somebody need to hear me now I don't care how how loud they can hoop how high they can jump but let me tell you something how you got to have the right spirit when you get behind this pulpit you got to have a right heart when you get behind this pulpit you got to have love you got to have compassion there's a lot of preachers that's preaching that don't need to be preaching yet why because they ain't got the love they ain't got the compassion for God's people and for the lost out there come on now they're putting on a good show. Yeah, they're preaching the word, Brother Mitchell. They're preaching the word, all right. I'm not saying they ain't preaching, but they're lacking something. They're lacking in the love department. Let me tell you something, Lord. I can preach the word and preach it out of love and watch God move by His Spirit. Yes. Amen. Huh? Yes. Right. Come on. Oh, come on. Let me get into the word. Thank you, Lord. Psalm chapter 34. Psalms chapter 34, beginning in our with the 17th verse. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious and holy word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivered them out of all their troubles. Hallelujah. The righteous cry. We cry out and God hears our cry. See, the devil wants to tell you when you're in a bad place, when he's thrown everything that he could at you, when he's thrown everything possibly at you, he wants to tell you that God don't hear your prayers. He wants to tell you that God has closed his ears to you. Come on now. Stuff start happening. The devil will whisper, well, you messed up somewhere. You sinned somewhere. You done something wrong somewhere. But let me tell you, there's things that are going to happen in our life. There's troubles that's going to come. There's afflictions. It said many are the afflictions of the righteous. So things are going to happen. But we got to know, folks, that God hears our cry. And we we got to know that he's going to deliver us out of all our troubles. We got to know even though many are our afflictions, God is still going to deliver us out of them all. Uh -huh. Come on now, you may be broken hearted tonight. You may be down, beaten, and broken hearted. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. The Bible said in the 18th verse of Psalms 34, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save as such as be of a contrite spirit, a crushed spirit. Yeah. 
You may be in that place tonight. You may be a little seated on my soul. You may be broken hearted. Let me tell you something. God's nigh. He said in his word, he's nigh to those that are broken heart. And those that's got the cursed spirit. Hallelujah, he's going to save them. Hallelujah, he's going to save them. Do you hear me tonight? Hallelujah. Folks, you can't give up on God because he ain't gave up on us and he won't give up on us. So don't give up on God. Keep your faith in Jesus. Yes, there's things that happen. I would love to answer why things happen the way they do. But Lord God, all I know to do is to tell you is trust Jesus because he's got it all in his hands. Amen. He's the author and he's the finisher of our faith. Come on. Huh? That's right. I know there's a lot here that's sick tonight. And I've wondered, Lord, why? Why? But you know, it could just be another testimony. That's right. It could be just another testimony that they can give. Look what God done for me. Look how God turned this thing around. Look how God touched me. Look how God healed me. Yeah. Huh? Brother Mitchell, can you and your wife come here, Mom? Amen. I got to obey the Lord. Amen. I sing this thing, brother. And you tell me if I miss the Lord about this thing. It's like every time you, you want to do so much for the Lord, but it's like people, enemies, you don't try to push you down, trying to hold you down, trying to keep you down, bring your past and everything, trying to hold you down. Do you mind if I pray for you? You tell me if I'm wrong now. I just sing that just to just stay in there. Just, I seem like somebody was just trying to raise up and it's like a hand was trying to push you down. And it weren't the hand of God. Amen. It weren't the hand of God. Lord, I pray that you touch the brother and his wife, Lord. I pray that you open doors, Lord, that no man can shut, God. I pray yes. that you will increase the anointing upon them as they sing and minister yes. in your word, oh God. Use them, oh God, and help them to rise above those, Lord, that want to shove them down. Help them to rise above those, Lord, that want to hold them down and keep them from reaching what you've got for them, God. We bind every attack of the enemy. We bind every distracting spirit. Everything that's trying to discourage, oh God, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Lift them up above it all, oh Father. Father God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I see that they see. Somebody praise the Lord. So let me tell you something tonight. Hallelujah. When we cry out to him, he hears us. Hallelujah. He hears us. We got to believe that. I believe some's got in the mind now that God don't hear them anymore. They've been through so much. they suffered so much. They think, well, God just don't hear my prayers no more. Or they think, God, maybe I've just done something so bad that God just bringing this upon me. Let me tell you something. I believe glory to God that God loves His children. How many believes that tonight? And I believe these bad things, uh, Brother Mitchell, that come at us, hallelujah, when we're serving the Lord, it's just the old devil trying to blind our minds uh, to keep us from seeing the, the love and the glory of God. Amen. How many knows that tonight? Uh, we're serving a good God tonight. Yes, I know He's a God of wrath. I know He's a God of judgment. And I know He'll judge His world one day with fire. I know that. Uh, but hallelujah, let me tell you something. He's a God of love. 
know. The Bible says that his mercies are new every morning. How every morning we wake up, there's new mercies for us. Yes, there's a sin I can't change. All I can do is repent and ask God to forgive me and do my best with his help, not to repent, but to, to repeat it again. Come on now. Do you hear what I'm saying? Is somebody ready just to lay some things down the night. How are you just ready, Lord? I want them mercies. I want them grace that I've been hearing about. Oh, God, I need you to touch me tonight. Lord, I need you to strengthen me tonight. Lord, I need you to drive back these attacks from the enemy tonight. Somebody's mind is in, in, a, in a battle tonight. Somebody's mind is in a battle tonight. How you need to come, you need to pray and let the Lord do a work. Somebody need to hear me. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
He can. He can calm them storms in your mind tonight. I know all about them. Know all about them storms. Know all about them mind battles. Know all about them. Huh? I've been held captive in times past by them. Prison in my own mind. Had a love of God in my heart. I loved the Lord, but my, my mind, my mind was so tortured. See, the devil seen more than what I could see at the time. And he thought, well, I'll get his mind. Because if I can get his mind, then he won't do the rest. Huh? So he battled my mind so bad, Brandon. He battled it so, so bad that I'd go out and I'd pray for hours at a time, Brother Mitchell. I'd be on my knees crying out to God. And I'd stand with my hands on my head crying out, God, help me, please. Please help me, God. Let me tell you something. I know what it's like. And I went to a little church in Athens. It was called the Church of Athens. Brother uh, Hamilton. Anybody know Brother Larry Hamilton? Yeah. Amen. I, I went down there to his church. Hallelujah. I never will forget that night. Hallelujah. He said he called me out that night to, to pray for me. I went up there and he went to pray for me. Hallelujah. And he seen what was going on. He even seen me standing in my yard with my hands on my head. He even seen that. God allowed that to be seen. Hallelujah. I went there for a while, and one night he was preaching. He looked at me and said, Listen, you're going to make it. That's what he told me. And I ain't ever forgot that. He said, You're going to make it. He said, You know how I know you're going to make it? Because I went to the same thing, and I made it. And I'm here to tell somebody tonight, You're going to make it. Just hold on to the Lord. You're going to make it. It. Just hold on to the Lord. You're going to see the things of God come to pass that He's promised you. You're going to see those things that He's spoken to you come to pass because God cannot lie. Hallelujah. We just got to stand like you said, sister. Stand and know that He's God. Hallelujah. Stand and know that He's God even though all hell may be breaking out all around us. Stand and know that he is God. Come on. Hallelujah, come on. Huh? Things kind of feel still destroyed right away. Huh? He's destroying families. Ripping them apart. He's tearing them apart. It breaks your heart. Yeah, it does. It does. church is son and what's going on when we need to be coming together we need to be praying listen people don't want to tell nobody what's going on in their lives whether it be church members church folk what they don't want to tell people what's going on because all people most of the time want to do is condemn them So they're fighting these battles all along. Well, they got the Lord. Amen. Right. But they've not got nobody else. Because they can't confide. Because they know they're just going to be looked down on. Huh? Can we be real tonight? Yeah. Let, let's get out of all this man made church stuff. Let's get into Jesus' church. Amen. His blood block church. There's people hurting. People hurting. We get, oh, how I love Jesus. And that's good. Oh, how I love Jesus. That's wonderful. But he told us if we love him, we keep his commandments. Right. What are we supposed to do? Love one another. Amen. Love one another. He got so strong up in Knoxville Avenue up there. The church, when the church used to be up there, 900 Knoxville Avenue, it got so strong, the spirit and the anointing did. We, we, we seen mighty things up there. We, we, we seen the, 
that glorious cloud just filled the church one night and it, I mean it was thick I had seen it before but that night it came in and others were seeing how, how it was it was a mist that just filled the entire church but things had got so strong and anointing was so strong there's one lady got up one night and she said pray for me I'm a drunk come on now Pray for me, I'm a drunk. She felt that she could confide in us and that we'd pray for her. Come on now. That's the way it ought to be. Pray for me, I'm a drunk. And that's what they are. Pray for me, I'm a drunk. Let it pray for me. Come on now. And not worry about us condemning them. But have somebody that's going to pray and help them get through. Come on. Come on. Are you ready to go to another level? I am. I'm so much. I'm tired of everyday church. Come on. Well, we had good service. Brother Songs will shout it tonight. Wow. Hadn't heard them shouting in a while. So and so ran now. That was good. Anybody go free? Well, no. Anybody get saved? No. Anybody get delivered? No. So what, what did we have? Come on now. Flesh can shout. Yeah. Flesh can run. Yeah. Flesh can jump up and down and scream and holler. Those things, don't take me wrong when God's in it. That's all good. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. But we need more than that. God's more than just a shout tonight, folks. God's more than just some goosebumps that you feel every once in a while. Huh? I'm ready to see some people saved. I'm ready to see some people delivered. Set free. Healed. Healed. Well, brother, God don't heal no more. Where do you get that at? Huh? He said he never changes. He's the same today as he was yesterday and forevermore. Let me tell you, I've seen God do some things. And I know Brother Bobby has too. Amen. I'm sure others here have too. Seen what God can do. We just believe him. Preached that last night. Simply believe him. Why, well, I got to get holy enough, good enough for God to look for me. You ain't going to do it. I'm sorry. You ain't going to do it. But if I just simply believe him, he'll continue working in me. He'll continue doing the work on the inside of him. I simply believe him. And while he's working, I can still walk out what he's got for me. You can still walk out what he's got for you while he's working. How many knows that tonight? So, some of them preachers, we think so high and mighty. I guarantee you, we've seen in their closet, we're like, glory to God. You mean the Lord's using them? Come on now. I'm just being honest tonight. God uses imperfect people. Come on now. He uses imperfect people. But he perfects them while he's using them. That's right. That's right. Why have we seen any mighty revivals like that in the 50s and the 60s and so forth? Hmm? I believe it's because people don't believe anymore. I believe it's because the preachers don't believe anymore. Yeah. Listen, preachers, if we preach the word, we preach the word. The Bible says it's the signs and the wonders of the Father. Amen. Amen. So if we preach it, then we can expect God to move. We can have that expectation because we can believe that He's going to do it. If we say, Oh, I believe God's word. Do we? Do we? I heard Sister Roberta preach last night. And she got over in the book of John and she was preaching. 
And she's preaching about the, the works that Christ done that we shall do also and greater than these. Hmm. He raised the dead. He healed the sick. He cleansed the lepers. He opened deaf ears. He opened blinded eyes. The lame walked. You mean the church can be operated? Yeah, they sure can if we only believe. Right. And greater than anything that he done while he was walking on the face of the earth. Yeah. That's what he said. Not me. Him. Huh? Church is not powerless. Huh? He sent the twelve out and he gave them power to cast out devils and to heal the sick. He was with them. And while he was with them, he could do that. Right. He gave them that power. Right. They come back rejoicing. Even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. They tell them not to rejoice about that. But to rejoice because their name is written down in heaven. That's Simply believe. I, I had a dream several years ago. I dream was back in the days when we was having prayer meetings, Ann. And we had some prayer meetings. We had some outpourings of the Spirit. And I tell you, a lot of churches weren't even seeing. And that's the truth. I'm not being boastful. I'm just being truthful. They were some outpourings. And I, I remember in that dream, I got up and I was ministering that night. And the anointing fell. In the dream I was having that fail. And these young people were being slain in the spirit. And God was just moving. And, and, and I was shocked at my what was taking place. And I was saying to myself, God, I'm not worthy of this. Oh, God, I'm not worthy of this, Jesus. I'm not worthy of this, God. And he showed me right then that he had made me worthy by his blood. Woo! Somebody needs to grab a hold of that tonight. <laughs> And that's what he showed me that he had made me worthy yes. by his blood. I feel something breaking tonight by his blood. Yes. Hallelujah. So simply believe tonight. We ain't got to work this thing up. All we got to do is believe. And I know that's going to make a lot of religious folk mad, but that's all right. I like to make them mad. Maybe they'll get them thinking. How we maybe they'll get them sick in the face of God. Maybe they'll see something. Come on. I feel a change. There's a change coming in this little church. There's a change coming in this sweet water church. There's a change coming. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If anybody needs prayer tonight, Feel free to come and we'll pray for you tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you feel like you need to kneel down at this altar and have a talk with Jesus, uh, come on up. Amen. And have a talk with him. Amen. He can help you more than any man, any woman, or anything else can. Uh, Jesus can help you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Amen. He loves you. Thank you, Lord. Does anybody need prayer? We'd be glad to pray for you. Hallelujah.
Oh, the enemy's fallen so hard, Lord, but God, he's got the victory. He's got the victory, oh God. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, I come against these spirits that's rattling his head. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I come against these spirits that's battling his head. Lord, and I bind them in the name of Jesus. You said in your word that what's that we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What's that we shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. We bind these attacks from the end. We loose heal the complete wholeness in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, I ask that you keep your hand upon him, Lord, as he goes through the surgery, Lord. I'm asking that you lead and guide the doctor's hands, Lord. And I'm asking angels be encamped around him, oh Father. And you'll watch over him and keep him and protect him, oh God. And I pray that the surgery will go wonderfully, Lord, with no problems, no troubles at all, God. And I pray that you'll have a fast, fast recovery, oh God. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Touch him, strengthen him, help him to gain that weight back, Lord. Lord, I pray that he'll get an appetite too, Lord. Lord, I pray that he'll be hunting in that refrigerator for food and everything, Lord. He'll get an appetite. He'll gain that weight back, oh God. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Jesus' name. Love you, brother. Amen. Praise Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Appreciate Nick. Amen. Oh, oh yeah. Joseph. Somebody get it there. Start it there. Amen.
Hallelujah. I hope we have many, 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 many more. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I told him just start telling everybody he's 27 and hold. <laughs> Hallelujah. God's good. As I say, we appreciate Nick. Amen. He messaged me today. He wanted to come to church. Amen. Him and Sarah. Amen. So we appreciate him. Amen. Yes. And, uh, hallelujah. He's grown up. Amen. Yes. He's grown up on us. Praise the Lord. How has anybody else got anything? Hallelujah. Everybody remember her, amen. Keep them both in prayer, amen. He's hunting him a job and everything, so pray that all works out for him. Gets his license and he'll do what the Lord will have him do, amen. Amen. We, we love him. We hope he'll come back, amen. All right. We're going to hold you to that, too, amen. We'll put you in that cart, and like I said, it's sardines, but we got down here, didn't we? <laughs> Praise the Lord. God's good. Amen. Told Rachel, we're going to have to get another vehicle one of these days. Maybe get a van. Got them three seats in them. You've seen them like that. My school bus here, too. There you go. Hey, keep saying that. That's all right, ain't it? <laughs> but we appreciate everybody. Amen. And you can come back and be with us. Amen. And we're shooting for the 12th to get the 10 up. I've had a lot of stuff happening that's kind of delayed, but uh, not giving up, amen, may be delayed, but not stopped, amen? amen, so we're shooting for the 12th of this month, amen, and I hope that uh, Brother Mitchell will help do some preaching in it, amen, and uh, I leave Brother Bobby, amen, and uh, you know, we just come together and try to reach the, the lost, amen, number one, amen, and come together as a body, amen, and do a work for the Lord, amen. I tell you what, I've had that little tent up. I throwed it up when we was up there on 900 Knox Way. We throwed it up. And we'd have meetings out there. Yeah, Sister Mary's preached on it. Maybe she'll help us. Amen. Don't want to forget Sister Mary. Amen. And uh, I didn't see her. He had a block there. <laughs> 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 no, but anyway, God's good. We put that tent up up there on 900 Knox Avenue. We weren't having a great big turnout. You know, it was just a few of us. But we played the music and we preach, and, you know, it was rough cut preaching back then. I mean, it was pretty rough back then, but anyhow. Uh, people come up out of projects, and they say, hey, man, we, we heard that music. We heard it. We, we love it. We love it. I said, come on under the tent. Man, I've been drinking. I, I can't come under. I said, come on. Come on. You know what they did? And that night they was weeping. They were crying before the Lord and everything. You know, we could have said, no, we don't want you. That, that's not right. Come on. Huh? I, I've said it before. Bring them. Bring them. If they're drunk, bring them. Sure. Tell them just set their beer, leave it outside, but bring them in. Amen. Huh? Let them sit under the Word. Amen? Yes. Come on, folks. I had one man come in. He didn't have no shirt on. The one revival we had up there against him didn't have no shirt on. Cut off blue jeans, shorts. Uh, we had some young preachers. They was back there trying to talk to him. It was a little bit rough, you know. And they come up and said, oh, we don't know what to do. Come back here, pastor. And I come back there. I thought to myself, well, I don't know what to do either. That's what I thought. But when I stepped back there, the Holy Ghost came on. And I looked that man in the eyes. And I said, are you ready to give your heart to the Lord? Are you ready to make things right? And that man said, yes, tears come to his eyes. He went up to that altar. I remember that. Amen. Let me tell you something. God is good. Amen. I've seen him turning some things around. People being bad. We had one guy waiting outside with a stick. Uh, one night going to hurt somebody. But God drawed him into the church. Uh, and ended up the whole church praying for him. And he walked off and he left the stick. Come on now. Do you hear what I'm saying? God can take things and turn around. People don't want to do stuff for the Lord because they're afraid. But you know, God keeps us. What if you die while you're preaching? Well, I'll be happy. That's the way I want to die. Doing it for the Lord. Yes. Huh? Doing it for the Lord. Amen. 
Come on. Yeah, yeah, they had guns down there. I got out with a gun. I've seen it. But I prayed, you know, and God turned that thing around. Amen. And then found out later it was right where we set the tent up, it was right next door to devil worshippers. Come on. God's good, amen. So yeah, we're gonna throw it up. We might be a little delayed, but we ain't stopped, amen. So just help me pray about that, amen. And uh, we appreciate you, Sister Linda and Brother Danny too. They come down here and mold. Not only that, I mean, she didn't ask to tell this, but they bought a lot more than a weed eater for the church. You know, and that was a blessing. That really touched me, amen. And we appreciate that, amen. We don't know how much we do appreciate that. Now we can keep it cut and weed eat it, looking pretty. We'll get Danny out there and we'll work him. <laughs> Anyway, you know, God's good. Amen. So I'm trying to shut up. Somebody might want to take the mic. You can blame it on JR. He ain't here tonight. I usually give him the mic. So. You don't even need the mic to be loud. There you go. <laughs> God's good. Amen. You know, I'm not going to dismiss tonight. I'm just going to say, may God keep you and watch over you and protect you until we meet again. I love you each and every one. I'm thankful that y'all came out tonight. And, uh, Stick in here. If God sent you here, stick in here. You know, He sent you. He's got a purpose. Amen. He's got a purpose. So stick in here. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, I know some's left, but uh, I know God sent them, but the enemy's just trying to take them other ways. But you know what? God has a way of bringing us all back together again, don't He? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God a big old hand clap of praise. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. God bless you each and every one. Brother Fred, yeah. I, I want to say this. Go ahead. I feel like I want to say it. I appreciate the Lord. I love the Lord. Amen. Thank Him for His mercy. Amen. Amen. And I just keep, I just keep thinking of that. That's right. That's what it's Amen. Amen. Bless you, 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 Bless you,